Next free tutorial, we're going to learn how to move objects, resize objects, and change their color and transparency. So we're going to go to set up scene. Now we're in the scene mode. We're going to select a character. So we see the hair is selected, and we see this hair is highlighted, so we know for sure it's selected. Now there's four handle styles we can use. Default, which will let us do two things. First, it'll let us rotate it, so we have to move the cursor until the circle gets highlighted. We're going to click and drag to rotate it. Now I want to undo this, so I'm going to go to Edit, Undo. Instead of Edit, Undo, you can also hold down the Control key and press the Z key at the same time. Now the other thing I can do in the default mode is I can grab it and move it back and forth. So in this case, I'm going to do Control z to undo that. Now let's look at rotation. So we can see there's three ways to rotate it. We can rotate it this way. So let's select that again. Let's get it so we've got the red one highlighted. It can be a little tricky sometimes. There we go. See, it's highlighted. So I click and rotate it like that. And I can also grab this one and rotate it like that. Or I can grab this one and rotate it like that along these three different axes. Let's undo that. Control Z. Control Z to go back one more. And Control Z again, third time, to go back to like this. Next, we can do Move, which allow us to move it on different axes. And finally, we can go to Resize. We'll select the hair again. And we can click and drag, and it resizes the hair. Now, sometimes these click and drag functions don't work, or sometimes we want a higher level of precision. So in that case, there's some other options. So let's select this fish here. Now we're going to go to the one-shot drop-down, and we're going to go to procedures. So let's say I want to turn it a very precise amount. So I'm going to turn it left, and I want it to be a very precise amount, so I'm going to go to custom decimal number. And I'm going to say 0.121. That's the number I just made up. We can hit OK, and then it turned 0.121. We can do all sorts of other changes using the one-shots. We can place it at a specific location. We can have it point at something, turn to face. Let's have it turn it to face the bluebird. There we go. Now it's turning to face the bluebird. And these are all permanent changes. Now let's say we've got this bluebird here. Let's start by making it a little bigger. So we could use the resize. Or what we could do is we could go down here, and we could change either the width, height, or depth. Now, Alice won't let us distort it, so if we double the width, it's going to double the height and the depth. So let's see. Let's change this to 0.44. That's double. So it'll change the height to 0.68, and it'll change the depth to 1.02. And there we go. Now it's a little bigger. So let's change the color a little bit. Let's change it from white to green. And depending on the original color, it may look a little strange. In this case, it looks a little strange. I'm going to control Z to undo that. Next, what we want to do is we want to change the opacity. So this is how we can see through it. So right now, it's got an opacity of 1.0, which means we can't see through it at all. If we change it to 0.0, .0 that would make it completely transparent. So I'm going to change it to 0.5. That will make it look kind of ghostly. Finally, what we can do in this mode is we can change its location. So I'm going to select the rabbit again. I want to start by moving the rabbit up a little bit off the ground. So this is going to have me modify the y-axis. So right now it's right on the ground, so it's the y value is 0.00. .00. So I'm going to change it to 0.2, bring it a little bit up off the ground. Also, I want to move it a little bit on the x-axis, which the x-axis is right here. So I'm going to change it to 1.0 which is going to move it to the right. Finally, I want to move it forward on the z-axis. So the z-axis is going front to the back. So I am going to decrease the value of the z-axis. Right now it's negative 2.69, so I'm going to decrease it to negative 3.0, and it brings the character forward. Now let's go and see how we can change these things in code. So let's say we want the characters to start out looking like this. So we edited them in the scene setup. However, while the program is running, we want things to change. So let's start with the hair. So we're going to go to Procedures. And we'll have them say, I am going to disappear. Then after he says, I am going to disappear, we will find 
the set opacity and we'll change set opacity to zero. So let's run this. It says I'm going to disappear and sets opacity to zero. Now unlike when we edit it in the scene mode, as soon as we restart the program, he's right back to the way he is. In this lesson we've learned how to change characters location, appearance, transparency, and color in scene setup and we've also learned how to do some of the same things in code. To see the next video in this curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. To see the entire Alice 3 curriculum, please click on the link in the lower right-hand corner of the screen.